as a physician we should be able to adjust medication of diabetic patients in Ramadan. Also a pre-Ramadan assessment is important for patients having diabetes, who want to fast. With appropriate guidance and dose adjustments most of the patients can fast safely during Ramadan. Patients taking metformin, short-acting insulin secretagogues, sulfonylureas or insulin, need dose adjustment to reduce risk of hypoglycemia, during fasting in Ramadan. Newer oral antidiabetics, including incretin-based therapies are associated with lower risk of hypoglycemia and may be preferable for use in Ramadan. So, in Ramadan, physician, should advise to the patient, to drink water in sufficient amount during non-fasting hours. Doctor should advise patients to avoid sweets and oily food in Ramadan. Patient should check his blood sugar levels before iftar. Two hours after iftar. Two hours after sahur. while talking about medication adjustment in Ramadan. First of all we will talk about metformin. While patient on once daily dose. No dose modification required, but dose should be taken at iftar. Patient on twice daily dose, no dose modification usually required. Advise to the patient, to take medication at iftar and sahur. Patient on thrice daily dose of metformin. Morning dose at sahur. Combine afternoon dose, with dose taken at iftar. While in case of prolonged release metformin, no dose modification required. Take medication at iftar. Sulfony Lureus. When patient interested in fasting in Ramadan, then switch to newer sulfony Lureus, like glycolazide or glimepride. Remember glybenthlamide, which is an older agent should be avoided in Ramadan, as risk of hypoglycemia is high with this medication. So, let us talk, how to manage dose of sulfony lurea drugs, if patient is already taking them before Ramadan. If patient taking sulfony lurea once a day, then advise patient to take that once daily dose at iftar, and dose should be reduced in patient with good glycemic control. If patient taking sulfony lurea on twice a day, then advise patient to take first dose at iftar, and it remains unchanged. While, second sahur dose may be reduced in patient with good glycemic control. SGLT2 inhibitors, can be used with caution in some patients in in Ramadan. No dose adjustment is required. Advise patient to take that medicine at iftar. DPP-4 inhibitors, do not require treatment modification during Ramadan. DPP-4 inhibitors, raises circulating levels of GLP-1, which in turn stimulates insulin secretion. Risk of hypoglycemia on thiazolidindione's monotherapy, in non-fasting individuals is very low. Although limited data available for use in Ramadan. Dose can be taken with iftar or sahur. Insulin use during prolonged fasting carries an increased risk of hypoglycemia, particularly for those with type 1 diabetes mellitus but also for those with type 2 diabetes mellitus. 
So, clinician should be expert in modification of dose of insulin. This should be kept in mind. Use of insulin analogs is recommended over regular insulin, as there is less chance of hypoglycemia. Changes to long and short acting insulin during Ramadan. If patient already taking one of the basal insulins like, NPH, Detamir or Glargine, once daily. Then you should reduce dose by 15 to 30% and further, this insulin dose should be taken at iftar. Short-acting insulins. If patient taking short-acting insulins. Then advise the patient to take normal dose at iftar. Omit lunch time dose, while reduce sahur dose by 25 to 50 percent. Changes to premixed insulins during Ramadan If patient taking twice daily dosing of premixed insulin, then take normal dose of iftar while reduce sahur dose by 25 to 50 percent. Patients who should not fast during Ramadan. Patients having uncontrolled sugar levels in the last three months. Patients having cardiac and renal issues. Patients who suffered from severe illness recently, should not fast during Ramadan. Pregnant women should avoid fasting. Patients on dialysis also should not fast. Thanks. Like and subscribe our channel for next coming videos.